Alright, so in this video we're taking a look at a 1080p motion detecting camera. Alright, so let's take a little closer look at this. Okay, so we're taking a look at a camera. It is 1080p. Very small. Has two-way audio. It has night vision. It comes with a 6,000 milliamp battery, which you can replace. And it also has a really nice, unique ability to be recharged via solar power with the included solar panel, which we have right here. It feels really, really nice as far as quality goes. It doesn't have that cheap plastic feel to it at all. And it actually kind of has this like simulated look of carbon fiber, I assume. I don't think it's actually carbon fiber. There's the box that it comes in. You have your user guide so that you can go ahead and get that set up. It uses AI wit as far as the application for viewing the video and everything. And this is cloud-based storage that lasts about, I think, seven. So you don't have to worry about a micro SD card or any other type of uh, recording option. Also included is this mounting bracket. With it, you can actually choose to have this like sat on a tabletop like that, or you could mount it flat against a wall like that or you could mount it over an overhang of some sort like that so you have a multiple uh, options in terms of the mounting capabilities and this portion here is padded on both sides so you don't have to worry about whatever you mounted it to it won't scratch or damage the item All right. You have four, I would say, mounting templates, mounting hardware, and that's going to be for both the camera and the actual solar panel, both. You have a micro USB charging cable, and that's because with the removable, replaceable 6,000 milliamp battery, you do have a charge port. It also even talks about the charging as far as the light indicator so you know when it's fully charged and that's going to make it really simple for you to use. Uh, time it's going to need for charging is a minimum of three hours to have continuous use as long as the batteries are fully charged first and you can do that overnight or you could do like a six hour roughly uh, charging sequence to get it pretty, pretty much uh, close to the full capacity and then in the sun as long as it has three days of exposure three hours of exposure you should get you know the full use out of it without having to worry about taking the battery out and recharging it with the cable all the time so that makes it way more convenient now this is the little mounting bracket for the actual solar panel And on the unit here on the back, you can see the solar panel connection here, and it has a nice rubber uh, piece on the actual plug, so that's going to fill that in. So water resistance, snow, things of that nature won't be a problem. You have a button right there. You have your mounting portion here, and on the bottom, you just screw on and off, drop your battery in, and then, of course, on the front, you have your camera, your microphone, your speaker, your motion detection, all the different sensors and such. As far as the battery goes, it goes in only one way, locks into place, so it's very, very simple. All right, so right there you can see the AI Wit app. So we'll go ahead and open that app up, and we're going to go ahead and get this login set up. 
and then I want to show you more of the actual functionality on pairing this device with the camera. Then I'm going to show you the installation of the camera outside and you can see what to expect. Alright, so I'm going to use a screen recorder so I can show you the actual app and the process involved. So we're going to open our app. If you haven't already registered, you will need to do that first. After you've done that, this is the screen that you will come to. And we're going to uh, add device, as you can see in the center here. Choose our camera, battery, camera 2. And we're going to make sure and insert the battery. And it says press and hold Entering the setup. Pairing mode. All right, so the red light is flashing. So we're going to do next. Is it flashing? Yes, it is. We will adjust this for our network and our password you can you'll enter that now but I've already done so so that it'd be obscured next I'm going to confirm hold the camera in front of the QR code and give it a moment to register QR code scan finished waiting for Wi-Fi connection all right so obviously that's successful and it is connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Waiting for device registration. All right. Device registration successful. And successful, so confirm. All right, so now you can see we have the option to do uh, talking you know, through the camera. We can rotate it, take screenshots. Uh, we can also go through, we can do a live view, rotate the uh, device, and we have our playback. So the event that we had, uh, some kind of event we wanted to record, that's the actual live view of the camera. So you can see right there. And kind of test the input lag. It is a little bit slow, even though it's right next to the router. So that's something to consider but all of these cameras have a degree of lag available so let's back out here and you can see our different options across the bottom uh, one of which is our setup that's just a quick demonstration what we're going to do now is go ahead and get this installed so that you can see what it looks like as far as the installation process okay for physical installation we're going to use our template or you could actually place this in place locate your holes and we're going to get the setup done for that same thing applies for the solar mount, which we'll put uh, on this side over here. Keep in mind, you can, you can have nine users on this. One is the master account, and then eight others. And you can simultaneously view with three different users that you share this camera with, but only control the microphone one person at a time. All right, so let's go ahead and get these holes pre-drilled. So now we can go ahead and place this in place and screw it down. We'll do that in just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and get the other uh, solar panel portion set up and we'll get right back to it. All right, so our, our solar panel mount, we're going to do the same thing, mark our holes and we're going to have this lined up so that we can mount the panel in a place that'll get sun. Take our drill and make a little mark in the wood there. Do the same for the bottom. And then afterwards, we just drill that out. All right. So now, we grab a screwdriver, we'll screw these down, get everything set up. All right, so now it's time to actually secure the mounts to the actual railing. You could use the included screws if you wanted to, but personally, I always like using a more weather resistant uh, deck screw, so it also blends in with the wood a little bit better. But it's personal preference, so I'm going to utilize this myself. All right, it's a bit awkward there, but you get the idea. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this one mounted up now. All right, so now it's as simple as grabbing our solar panel and our camera. Use the screw that is included to secure the camera to the mount. Use our Phillips screwdriver. Our camera in place. Tighten that up. Make 
make sure it's set where you want. Make sure this is fully inserted. That'll give you the waterproof resistance you need. All right. Then we take our solar panel. There's a little portion right here that it has a little indentation. That's gonna line up with the little clip on the actual mount. Slide this into place. And it'll kind of lock into place. And then we just adjust our panel so water can run off. And then we just tidy up the cable. And that's pretty much it. Information below the video, and there'll be a link below the video. The information below the video will give you a lot of details about the camera that we didn't cover, so you can see all the different specifications. Thanks.